In this video, I will show how to plot init step function in MATLAB with few lines of code. As you know, init step function is denoted by u of t. Uh, mathematically, it is 0 for t less than 0, and it takes a value 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. So graphically, this is how it looks like. For t greater than or equal to 0, the value of u of t is 1, and for other values of t, it is 0. Right? So now we'll try to put it in MATLAB. Uh, first, I'll define the independent variable t, and I'll put it put in a I'll put it in a for loop, uh, searching for t greater than or equal to zero. If it is greater than or equal to zero, I'll make make a dependent variable u as one. If it is less than zero, I'll make a dependent variable which is u is equal to zero. Okay, so we'll try to put it in MATLAB. Uh, clear the command window. Clear. Uh, the variable values and close the figure window if at all it is open. Now I'll define t. Uh, basically, it starts from minus infinity to infinity, but in our case, I'll take it as minus 10 to 10. Uh, but you can take any value, okay? So 0 0.01 and set 10. Now for i, taking the value 1 to length of t, this is to search for t value. If t of i is greater than are equal to zero. I'll put for that value of u. This is unit step function, so I'll put it as u. U of i is equal to one. Else, u of i is equal to zero. So this end is for if statement, and this end is for for statement. So we are basically done. I'll put it in the figure now. Figure of one. Figure of one. Let me plot it. Plot of independent variable t, comma dependent variable u. Let me plot it and see how does it looks like. Okay, so it starts from minus 10 to 10. Uh, for t less than 0, it is 0. And for t greater than or equal to 0, it is 1. Now, uh, it doesn't uh, looks like a uh, unit step function. I mean to say, uh, it doesn't look like a nice unit step function. Uh, what we'll do, we'll extend the x axis. Uh, we'll keep the x-axis as it is, but we'll extend uh, y-axis. Okay, so how do we do that? Axis of within a square bracket. Uh, x-axis I'll retain the same. We we'll start from minus 10 to 10, but y-axis we we'll start from bottom, which is I'll take the bottom limit as minus 0 0.5 and the top limit as 2. Uh, let me run it. Yeah, so this is how uh, if I put the limit to the x and y axis, it uh, it looks like uh, unit step function, right? Uh, this unit step function to be in samples. So what you do, you just have to replace plot by stem. If I run it, I get a blue shade. And this is because I have more number of samples. You have to reduce the number of samples. Instead of giving 0 0.01, it decrease the resolution. I give it a 0 0.1. Uh, still, we don't get to see a nice line. Uh, what we will do is we'll make it as with a resolution of one itself. So now this is unit step function in samples, right? So thanks for watching.